this white film is soda ash Ugh. now soda ash is a white ashy film that sometimes happens on soap bars hey good day good morning and welcome to my channel i am natasia and we're gonna get straight into this video this is a tea tree and coconut shell carbon african black soap and we're starting with tussa silk inside of my lye solution and if you don't know what tussa silk is it adds softness and slip to your soaps and is made by the cocoons left from a certain type of species of moth which is more prevalent in china india japan africa and north america so right now we're going to get to blending and getting everything fully incorporated so that we can start the process of adding our tea tree oil to our soap and creating this tea tree and coconut shell carbon African black soap. that beautiful African black soap or say dudu alata samina as it said in Africa or well, certain parts anyway so the recipe for African black soap varies depending on what part of Africa it comes from it can contain palm kernel oil the filtrate of burnt cocoa pod ash or roasted plantain skin it also can include ash honey shea butter lime or cam wood. It's a beautiful soap that is beautiful on its own. I wanted to add it to my tea tree soap because I think it would be a beautiful addition to the soap. You're gonna see me go ahead and crumble this together. And again, if you have not seen my previous videos, my turmeric and ginger video and my lavender vanilla video, I do go into more detail about this beautiful soap. So right now, I just wanna incorporate it thoroughly throughout my batter and get it all nice and cozy. <laughs> and then we're going to begin the process of pouring it into the mold. tree oil is a very strong essential oil it's a beautiful oil itself it's commonly used to treat acne and athlete's foot and lice and fungus insect bites it's also known to help with blemishes and brightening dark spots in the skin this oil is very intense you can you do not need a lot of it in your batter or in any product that you put it in and it has to be mixed with a carrier oil like a coconut oil or something you cannot put this directly on your skin at all what I also didn't know is tea tree oil plus coconut shell charcoal equals gray my entire color palette that I wanted for this soap changed because I thought it was gonna stay black and the tea tree oil turned it gray which is fine it added beautiful interest to the soap but when I tell you I was surprised I was very surprised Now I 
I've used tea tree oil shampoo and it was dynamic. You feel really clean when you use that shampoo. If you guys haven't tried it, try tea tree oil shampoo. It is awesome. The one I was using was by Paul Mitchell. I don't even know if they make it anymore because it was hard to find. You're going to see me trying to pour it in the mold. This is originally how I wanted it. I was going to do one half the soap and one half the African black soap. But as you're going to see, I'm going to change my mind. <laughs> say that you know I think it's really really important that we know and understand the ingredients that go into the products that we use on our skin or even in our bodies so that's why I pay special attention to give you guys information um, about certain ingredients that I use in the soap you should want to know what's in the products that go into your skin and you know what else you should be able to pronounce it also you should be able to pronounce and know exactly where these ingredients come from, how what they're supposed to do to your skin, how they're supposed to make it better, how you, it may, it may um, affect it in a positive or negative way. Like those things are important. So when you watch my videos and for example, the African black soap videos, you hear me repeating myself. I do it because there might be some people that be, might be watching the video for the first time and it's important. Just like if I was doing an ingredient that's native to your country, you want me to pay homage and respect to it. So that's why I do it. This white film is soda ash. Ugh. Now soda ash is a white ashy film that sometimes happens on soap bars. It forms when the soap is exposed of the soap reacts to the air or the carbon dioxide in the air so it's perfectly safe to use it's just aesthetically you know most people don't want to see the whiteness on it so stay tuned and I'll show you how I deal with this in the rest of the video goodness that came out better than expected I really thought that when I changed my mind and mixed the soap together it would mess it up but I think it it just it looks great it looks so beautiful now there is a part where you see um, like a dark spot on the soap and that's that's really the natural plant matter that's in it right there that's the plant matter that's in the African black soap. It's a natural product. It used plant matter in it. It's perfectly fine. It's There's nothing wrong with it. It's still going to lather and be a beautiful, beautiful soap. general when we want to avoid soap ash from occurring we spray it with 99% alcohol on the top before it cures we cover it or we can also do this I'm going to actually apply steam to the tops of the soap and that usually helps also deal with any soda ash that you might see on your soap again there's nothing wrong if you leave it it doesn't affect the soap it won't harm your skin it's just that aesthetically, some people just don't like seeing that that little ash <laughs> on the top of it. So they don't want to be ashy. So we're going to take care of this right now.
And if you've made it this far, I am so honored. Thank you so much for giving me your time today. I do value your time. Please protect your energy, stay safe, and watch some more of my videos. See you soon, guys.